if you have ever spoke in public at an event, a workshop, a conference, whatever it is, then you might have been in the situation where you're not sure exactly what to bring to that event. In this video, I'm going to share what I bring when I go speak at events. Hey, this is Scott Weidenkiewicz, a storyteller with a camera, talking about all the things photographers like you and I are thinking about. In this video, we're going to be talking about a topic that not all photographers are thinking about, but a topic that many photographers, especially the ones who teach, are always thinking about. Now, I am in the process of preparing my class for WordCamp New York City, which happened, well, before this video went out. And I'm in the process of preparing what I'm bringing and actually the, you know, the keynote slides and all of that stuff. So today I want to share what I actually bring to conferences when I go speak and what I sometimes bring depending on the conference. So first and foremost, if I am speaking, I am bringing my laptop. I experimented with only bringing an iPad once and I will never do it again. And the reason for this is because although the keynote on the iPad is actually fantastic, it turns out that some conference uh, venues, their technology to receive from an iPad is not that great. For example, I was speaking at a photography conference last year and at that conference, my first session, I had two sessions on two different days and the first session, it went, well, not so good. The AV system would not accept the video signal from the iPad in this particular room. On the next day, when I did the same exact session but in a different room, it took it perfectly fine. So over the first day, I actually had to borrow a laptop, get the keynote file on that laptop, and then do my session. I had to rush through it, and uh, I still got through it. I didn't have much time for Q&A. And you know what? The feedback I got was actually still pretty good, all things considered all the technical difficulties. But I'm never going to put myself in a situation like that again. I will bring a laptop, even if it's a hassle, to bring the laptop. Now, when going to conferences, I'm either driving or I am taking a plane or I'm taking a bus or a train or whatever. I always have my AirPods. I'm actually in the process of testing out this uh, case for the uh, AirPods. It's a sort of silicone case that actually has Qi charging in it. So instead of buying a new case for my AirPods, I just slip the AirPods into this, put it on my Qi charger, and now I'm recharging my AirPods. And of course, I can always take the case off and use a lightning cable if there's no Qi charging available. A pen. I always have with me a pen. This is actually one of those space pens. It happens to also be like a tablet touchscreen thing, but I can pop it off, turn it around. I got a nice weighted pen that feels good in the hand, and it'll always work for me. Nice to have a pen handy, especially one that can write underwater and upside down and in space. Now, depending on the conference, I will bring a camera like the one I'm actually filming on right now, the Nikon D850, I would bring it with one lens, most likely a prime lens, not a zoom lens, uh, most likely a 35 millimeter so that I can vlog or I can record something and it's just a good overall all around lens. And with that, depending on the conference, I will bring a legit tripod, but sometimes I won't and I will only bring a handheld small sort of tabletop tripod. This is that tripod. This is actually from Manfrotto. It's a nice little tabletop tripod that can work with uh, any camera or it can work with a phone. So basically it's a ball head and it's got the three legs and the three legs can all extend. So I can get a little bit taller, but again, it's kind of small. I like this better than the Gorillapod because it's not flimsy. Uh, it still feels good in the hand. It's solid and it doesn't flop over when you just let it be. Now, if I am not bringing my camera, or if I am bringing my camera, I just want to also have something for my phone, I will bring this. This is the Glyph. I think it's the, the second version of the Glyph, but basically it's a, uh, it's got a tripod uh, hole there, a tripod hole there, and a tripod hole there. You put it on the top of the tripod, and then you can get your phone in there very easily. Now, one thing I am in the process of reviewing, and that is why I have this for this specific event, is this, this is actually the cam lapse, and this is basically an egg timer that my camera can go on, my big camera can go on, or I can actually put my phone on using this. And then I can turn this, and I can get a time lapse that is one hour long. Uh, I can go 360 degrees for an hour, so this will be really handy for, uh, you know, just 
fun sort of B-roll time-lapse type things. So for this particular event, I am not bringing my big camera. It is a WordPress conference. Uh, I am going fully mobile. I will be doing some video footage, probably some vlogging, but again, I will not, I will not have my large camera. What I will be doing is be bringing my moment lenses. So I've got both the telephoto and the wide angle mobile lenses, uh, moment lenses, sorry, for my iPhone 10. And uh, I will most likely have the 18 millimeter wide angle on here for the most part. That is what I find best for sort of doing just, you know, just cool videos. Now, of course, you've got to be prepared for the presentation, for the laptop, for just different sort of situations that you may not be, you know, aware of uh, in the beginning up front. First is my travel surge protector. I always plug into a surge protector, my computer, that is. If there's none available, I've got my own. I can plug in USB. I can plug in three plugs. I am perfectly safe. I've got everything there. Get these when they're on sale. These are fantastic. Business cards. You got to have business cards. I have both my photography business cards and my work business cards for Imagely. This... This is something that I cannot go to an event and present or talk without. This is my Logitech remote. This has a built-in USB dongle. You plug it into Windows, Mac, whatever. It just works. It's two AA batteries, uh, two AAA batteries. Sorry, it's two AAA batteries. And uh, let's turn this thing on. It vibrates if my time's running out. If I set the timer, I can control the slides. And it also has a green laser, so I can point to the screen no problem. Don't shine this in your eye. So that is really useful because now I can control my slides from wherever I am in the room. No problem. Now the biggest problem with speaking at events and having to plug in your laptop is knowing, do I need DVI, or VGA, HDMI? What do I need? Well, you got them all covered when you have these dongles. These all go into the display port of the MacBook. Now there's different ones and there's now USB-C ones and, and whatever. Dongles. This will allow me to go into anything that is put in front of me. I don't have to worry about any signals going to projectors or to smart screens or anything like that. Of course, when you go to conferences, you don't always have the ability to plug into a wall when you're an attendee. And as a speaker, the only opportunity that you really have to plug into a wall for the most part is when you're, is when you're presenting. You can plug in at the same time as your computer. That's why I have these. You just saw a video about these. These are my Qi chargers that are actually completely, these are battery backups for my phone. So I can charge both my AirPods and my phone with both of these for many charges. The charger for my laptop. Now this is actually inside of a product, the Sidewinder. Basically it keeps your Apple power block safe and lets you undo it like so. And then when you're all done, wind it up. As we all know, as Mac owners all know, the um, cable, the thin one, is extremely flimsy, especially where it meets the actual power block. So this solves that issue. Um, you do lose a little bit of the length of how long you can go, but it keeps your power block safe. I got a little bit of a bonus tip for you. If you're at an event where you do not know if it's being recorded and you want to have your talk, your session, your class, if you want that recorded, I recommend getting something like this. It's compact. Now, if you've got an extra camera that does video, by all means. I only have one at the moment. So this is the Mevo. This actually can live stream my session if I want it to, and it can go on a tripod. I can hook it up to a wireless lav. It will basically allow me to either record my session or live stream it or both. I can live stream it to YouTube. I can live stream it to Facebook, whoever I want. Now this particular event, I did not bring the Mevo because Every WordCamp session is actually recorded and put online for free after the fact. So there you go. That is what's in my bag for a typical conference that I'm speaking at. It got, I got the essentials. I've got some sort of bonus things that I like to bring with me. And then, of course, there's some bonus items that I don't always bring with me because uh, I don't always need it. But when I do need it, it's quite handy. If you have any questions about any of the products that I have shared just comment, let me know, happy to answer them. And if you like this video, click that subscribe button below now. I publish new videos every Monday and Thursday whenever possible. You don't want to miss it. And be sure to slam that bell.